Have you ever witnessed a technology or encountered a theory and thought, wow, this is going to change everything? For better or worse, it seems to happen more and more in the modern world thanks to the relentless pace of our own advancement. And as a result, it's now more than ever that the old ways are not only being questioned, but could well be on the brink of being replaced. That's including some of the oldest, most entrenched, and most fundamental aspects of life on Earth. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, will humans become more powerful than God? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. There's no doubt that the concept of God has played a central role in shaping humankind to this point. In whatever guise, the idea of God has bred belief systems, entire cultures, and whole societies throughout history. From the polytheistic pantheon of ancient civilizations to the monotheistic traditions of major world religions, humans have sought to understand and connect with a higher power. God, however you view this unknowable figure, often serves as a moral compass, providing guidance and purpose to individuals and communities. Although, of course, the exact role of God differs according to the diversity of our kind. Various religions, systems, and groups have presented their own unique perspectives. In Hinduism, deities like Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva are central figures, each representing different aspects of the divine. In Christianity, there's an emphasis on the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Islam professes the belief in one God, Allah. The ancients of Greece, Egypt, Rome, and Old Norse presented many gods, although usually with one higher figure, such as Zeus or Odin. In contrast, Buddhism focuses far less on a supreme deity, although that view in itself is arguably somewhat shaped by the significance of God elsewhere. Regardless of what you believe or if you believe nothing at all, the notion of playing God has become more and more prominent in recent times. Whether you subscribe to an overriding, supernatural, all-seeing force or not, everyone has some form of understanding of what's inferred by God, and that supreme level of power has come to be a key consideration in contemporary scientific research. Today, as our scientific and technological prowess has grown, the phrase playing God is variously used to critique humanity's pursuit of capabilities traditionally associated with a divine being. Broadly, the criticism is rooted in ethical, moral, and philosophical concerns, questioning whether certain advancements exceed the boundaries of what humans should ethically or responsibly pursue. So have we already gone too far, or are there still plenty of more levels through which to ascend? If we are not more powerful than God just yet, will we soon come to be so in the future? One area where the accusation of playing God is most frequently heard is in the realm of genetic engineering. With the ability to manipulate DNA, scientists can now edit the genetic code of organisms, potentially altering the course of evolution on an individual but perhaps even species scale. CRISPR-Cas9 technology, for instance, has enabled precise gene editing and sparked debates about the ethical implications of modifying human embryos to eliminate genetic disorders or to create designer babies. Critics view such possibilities as tinkering with the building blocks of life. They argue, is nothing sacred anymore if even the most fundamental parts of ourselves can be rewritten, reorganized, or simply deleted at source? Elsewhere, and advancements in artificial intelligence have increasingly led to concerns about humanity creating intelligent entities that may surpass our own cognitive abilities. From self-learning algorithms to sophisticated neural networks, the development of AI has triggered debates on the ethical responsibilities of creating potentially sentient beings. Here, the question arises, are we playing God by bestowing machines with the ability to think, learn, and make decisions? What right do we really have to even try to create sentience in the first place? And if we succeeded, what difference will there then be between ourselves and the God that so many believers claim made us? The created will have turned creator. Similarly, cloning is yet another area of research continually tagged with the same kinds of warnings. Of course, the cloning of animals has already been achieved, and it's a field that's growing and growing and gathering pace. So much so that for some, the notion of cloning human beings is no longer science fiction. Naturally, this potential to replicate individuals represents a massive challenge to our understanding of uniqueness, identity, and the sanctity of life. Cloning, along with many of the other apparently near-future technologies on the horizon, is also billed by some as a potential route toward immortality. 
For many, this is the ultimate end goal for all science, the greatest achievement that humans could ever make. But on the other hand, if and when we become immortal, will we then have become less human as a result? More broadly, transhumanism explores ways to enhance human capabilities, blurring the line between the natural and the artificial. Implantable devices, augmented reality, and brain-computer interfaces all aim to extend our cognitive and physical abilities, and we're seemingly on the cusp of all of these being readily available. Transhumanism might also be viewed as a culmination of the modern age of technology, as a coming endgame, blending all that we've learned and are learning about genetic engineering, AI, cloning, and the rest. This convergence of various technologies certainly presents intriguing possibilities, but the question still inevitably arises. Could future technology elevate humans to a level where we surpass the traditional attributes associated with God? Will we one day become not just as powerful, but more powerful than even our most supreme of supreme beings? Looking ahead, the development of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, represents a potential huge leap in what a machine will be able to do. AGI would possess cognitive abilities comparable to or better than those of a traditional organic human across a wide range of tasks. If left unchecked, there are thoughts and fears that AGI could itself become more powerful than God, and quickly, and then that we will be inescapably trapped and under its control. If it is in any way interwoven with the fabric of humanity, however, as many hope it will be, then the same might also be true of we humans as well. It'll be us that surpasses God, and perhaps even with ease. Again, looming advances in biotechnology may soon offer possibilities for enhancing human physical attributes. From genetic modifications to regenerative medicine, the potential exists to augment human strength, resilience, and longevity. While these developments could clearly hold great promise for addressing the many health concerns of our species, they also raise the same ethical questions about tampering with the natural course of life. Mix improving biotech with AGI and the trajectory could soon skyrocket beyond anything that's even comprehensible to us as we are. Funnel all of the future's new information through brain chips and sensory improvers of some kind, and suddenly we really could have knowledge and understanding that's far, far beyond that which we have now. Alongside all of this, there's our apparently constant want to physically travel and expand. And as humans continually strive to explore and colonize outer space, in future times when we may be powered by transhuman technologies, the idea of mastering the cosmos further echoes the ancient myths of our gods being all-seeing, all-controlling celestial beings. Achieving interplanetary travel is one thing, potentially establishing colonies on a distant world is another. But if all that goes to plan, then humanity could one day elevate itself to a position of unprecedented influence over the universe. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's what many envisage a true god to be like. So with all of this in mind, is now a time to pause or put the pedal to the floor? It's something of a central debate in all of scientific and technological research. How do we ensure that there's a balance between what we can do, what we might be able to do, and what we should do? How do we move from the current climate of potentially playing God to the future one in which we have the entire celestial toy box at our fingertips? For many, and especially for those who don't believe in divine beings to begin with, this is much more than a question of science versus religion. It's a real possibility that humans will become more powerful than God, no matter how you understand a God to be. As for the route we take to get there, it's a profundity that only the future can know. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.